In soccer, when you get a yellow card, it's considered as a warning for playing dirtier than you should. Same in football. If you cause a foul, a yellow flag is thrown on the field. When you're driving through town and you hit a stoplight, the yellow light always comes before the red because it's warning you to slow down for the upcoming red light. A warning can also be verbally. Let's say you talk back to your parents. They're not going to like that very much, so they'll give you a warning to watch your attitude before the punishment comes. Life would be a lot easier if we had yellow cards going up, yellow lights blinding us, or even just someone to give us a warning when we're not making the right choices. But we don't. We have to know what our own limits are and when too much is too much. Around school, I'm a pretty nice person. Every time you see me, I'm either smiling or laughing. It takes a lot for me to get mad or upset, but when I play sports, I'm a whole different person. I'm very aggressive and very competitive. Even if it's just to eat, I always want my team to win. I can't stand losing. I hate losing more than I love winning. And when it comes down to playing the sport I'm most passionate about, it can get really ugly if it's not going well. It was my senior year of soccer, my last year, and I completely threw it all away in just one stupid game. We were playing Sutter, and we were already down 3-0. I wasn't in a very good mood. I was thinking to myself, Oh my god, this game cannot get any worse. But I spoke too soon. The ref blows the whistle, calling a penalty on me. I turned to the ref and started arguing with him immediately. I was furious, and I couldn't believe the call he was making. It was so stupid. It didn't matter arguing with him, because he still gave the other team the penalty kick, and of course they made it. As I watched the other team go back to their side of the field celebrating, my tears of anger started to pouring out, and there was no stopping me. The game ended with a score of 4-0, and I was completely pissed off. As my team started lining up to go shake hands with the other team and the rest, I was already packing my stuff to go straight to the bus without shaking anybody's hand. Then I saw that one of my teammates left their Gatorade on my bag. I picked it up and thought of a better idea instead of going straight to the bus, or so I thought at the moment. I put a mouthful of Gatorade in my mouth and got in line with my team to shake the rough hand. There was a doubt in my head on what I was about to do, but my anger ignored it, and I went for it anyway. When it came down to the ref that gave me the penalty, instead of shaking his hand, I spit the entire mouthful of Gatorade all over his chest, and I walked away. The ref came chasing after me, yelling out the number on the back of my jersey with his red card waving over his head. All I did was give him a thumbs up and return to packing my stuff. Next thing I hear is my coach screaming at me of how inappropriate that was and how bad I just hurt the team. I didn't think much of it, but turns out it was a bigger deal than I thought. The next time I had practice, I got the first part of my punishment. I lost my spot as captain, and my coach told me I wasn't allowed to practice until they found out what they were going to do with me. I waited two long weeks of not practicing, when my coach and Mr. Hall told me I couldn't play until January 23rd. I realized that meant I could only play the last four games of the season, which pretty much was nothing. When they were done talking to me, I ran to my car, and once I was in, I let it all out. I could taste the tears in my mouth as I screamed out no repeatedly. I couldn't believe this was happening on my last year. Throughout the suspension, it was hell. Watching my team play while I just sat on the bench felt like a punch to the stomach. That wasn't enough though. I had multiple trips to the principal's office and I had to write apology letters to the school board and the ref I spit on. But worst of all, I felt like I let my whole school down. Every teacher I had knew about what I did and somehow threw it in my face. I kind of just laughed about it, but inside I was tearing up. And apparently now, thanks to just me, our school has a bad name. And all I can say is, I'm sorry. Till this day, I still regret spitting on the ref. I still ask myself, why did I do it? Why did I stick so low? That just isn't me. I wasn't thinking and I didn't control myself. But I guess that's what happens when you don't warn yourself before you take action. Knowing when to slow down could really be hard. But whenever you're in a situation when a doubt goes through your head, then take that as your yellow card. That's your time to stop and think, 
that what you're doing won't lead to any harm in the future. And if there's a possibility that there might be an aftershock, that's your choice to decide if it's worth it or not. It's your life. You decide what you want to do in it, and you also decide what you shouldn't do in it. All it takes is a little thought of what's right and what's wrong. Don't be afraid of throwing up your yellow card, because after all, what would you rather do? Stop when you get your yellow, or keep going till you get your red, which comes with a bigger punishment and perhaps even regret. Really, all you have to do is have fun with your life, but just remember, after every foul comes a yellow card. This, I believe.